welcome back to the kkv channel so uh, we are going to see the just uh, automation test framework the last video we have seen like how to install and set up then get and post method so the the current video we are going to see how can we make that as a test suit and uh, like cover the delete and uh, put method also okay let's go to the code this is our uh, previous code and i just want to tell you like we can write uh, it as well as test okay so the two thing like anything you can write no problem actually so fine uh, we are just uh, converting this to a test suit just to manage the things so write a describe it is like user manage something like uh, user management user manage test suit okay no need to write a sync here actually so inside we need to write our uh, test cases this all together okay so when you are running this uh, it will be like uh, it will give you a test suit name like then it will print so user manage test suit get all user post create new user so this is how we can create a test suit using describe and it or describe test <coughs> so uh, now uh, what uh, is there with the test why i have given test is like uh, if you want to run only this test uh, right test only something like that or uh, we have we have multiple stuff along with this so i will tell you maybe after covering this uh, now we are going to write a put method as i said like uh, test update user sync callback things again like uh, response request dot so when you type it will show you the suggestions purge or put put the url so which uh, user you want to edit uh, if you go to update call in this i think update so this is the url they are uh, just using i just copy this and paste it uh, here again for this also we need to send a body of content send uh, maybe if you want to send like this uh, put you need to send a name see already the uh, if you just see two user is like email is janet and weaver uh, that you are going to update uh, the name of mops and john resident something like that okay so let's copy this and uh, paste it instead of paste it that is what that managing stuff is different inside json so let me create update user okay so uh, we can write our own name also uh, no issue so done and uh, maybe if you want to uh, see uh, like like uh, write uh, a session always write a session to every test cases if you're writing without a session then it means like it's not a test case only like that will status so it is it is adding await because we haven't add here okay to be 200 then if you want to see the updated uh, data so print in the console uh, it is like uh, updated user data 
response dot okay so for the whole response body we are going to print here uh, just go here and run it before we had two test cases now we have written uh, one more test updated user data is name dharma job is qa updated at okay fine so but still uh, it failed because we haven't uh, do the done callback after everything done that's it if you missed it you will get this kind of error so no issue fine update test case also done and the last uh, most used method most used in the sense like everyone like basic method is delete right so test delete delete a user response request dot delete so which user we are going to delete we are going to delete the user to this is the path for uh, delete also if you have a doubt maybe you can just check it so second user nothing will get as a response only the response code will be 204 we need to assert okay uh, maybe uh, expect response dot uh, status to be 204 that's it like if that is uh, done maybe we we are fine with it uh, like so uh, it may fail because we haven't added done callback so after that so your whole test case four test case will be fine running fine so this four like you can run uh, every day uh, like uh, try to use your real APS also along with this like uh, I have to tell like how to pass a uh, iter so with this so because uh, most of the real time api you will get the header also uh, uh, you need to assert a value in the sense like exp we have uh, asserted only the name right so here uh, let it be in the update call let me response dot body uh, expect response dot body dot uh, what we need to validate uh, from the update call name should be dharma okay so name if you write dharma one it will fail let's see the negative stuff always because so that we will you will make sure that our exp like assertion is works fine right this is works fine it's received that now but we have expected the more one so just do it like this so uh, learn about json path so you can mention that path and you can uh, assert the value so this is how you can add accession to uh, all the stuff uh, and uh, one more thing what you can do for example here api user we have created right uh, job is uh, leader uh, so the same leader something we need to pass it here right so after create the response what I am trying to do job one response dot body dot after create uh, let's see this uh, for reference you will get a uh, inside job okay so that job i will store to a variable called job so if you do it it will be just can be used only in this one right so what i will do i will just uh, create this variable outside this then uh, assigning uh, that job 
this a newly newly created a user job to a variable this one we can call it here okay so by passing done so let let me run and uh, uh, to be that anyway we are printing right it shall it should be this job okay let me run this this is this is uh, kind of a, a correlation so we have updated details leader so it used from created one see updated we have in pass this is update user right so is leader so in the response body we can get it as a leader uh, so this is how you can take uh, your uh, access token also after login you can assign the access token to a variable maybe you can create a, a global variable stuff like whole class variable so that one you can access to the next method okay so this is uh, this is one for the correlation stuff and uh, one more is like how to pass a how to send a header right so after send sorry before send you need to write dot set then send so in the set you can write like uh, mm, something like what what we need to authentication comma something like your uh, co token so so this is how you have to pass a header okay so now this header is not uh, valid for this i'm just uh, showing you this is how you have to pass it okay guys thanks for uh, uh, watching my video like this video we have covered header response like how to assert the response data as well as how to do correlation okay thanks for watching if you have any doubt please uh, post a command